former President Duterte challenged the members of the House to open the books in the name of transparency and there that he was ready to publicize the confidential funds of him and Vice President Indai Sara Duterte. Carlo de la Peña reports. In the latest episode of Gikan sa Masa para sa Masa with Pastor Apollo C. Kiboloy, former President Duterte emphasized that although he believes in the integrity of the lower house and their strict compliance with the law, the public should also be clear on how the house members are using their funds via auditing. Yung integrity ng institution ng Congress, iba yung an, a demand from a citizen of this country invoking the right, constitutional right of the people to be informed, lalo na sa pira nila. Mm. Whether or not they are legitimate in the sense that they spent the money well, oh, okay lang yan. But, you know, hanggang bunga nga lang yan. But according to the former president, the members of the House are just defending themselves. He also claimed that the said branch of government is not undergoing any auditing. Well, that is maybe your truth. But how about the truth of the people? people? Now, you see, what is the best that we can do? You're under the protection and uh, let me find the word. And your sustenance, mm. subsistence, nandyan sa speaker. Mm. At yung extra money ninyo na binigay beyond your salary. Mm. Makikita yan eh. And you would find it a horror, maybe when they finally opened the records, that their salary is just a, a pittance to what allowances they are receiving. Magtanong ka ng mga congressman na wala na dyan, o magtanong kayo ng mga kaibigan na dyan at sabihin nila ang totoo, Ang mga auditor ng COA takot mag-audit dyan sa Congress. Mm. Hindi ino-audit ang Congress. You have never heard of a red flag hoisted in the premises or in the territory of Congress. Mm. Not once, not twice, not at all. Mm -hmm. Paghanap kayo ng isang red flag and despite or in spite of the strict accounting rules Congress cannot be penetrated. Duterte said lawmakers should be ready to open the books of accounts or those who have already allocated funds for the public to know in compliance with the law. Okay. If you are telling the truth, then let us open the book of accounts. Wala mga problema. Strict adherence man kaya. Di pakita mo. Ito, be your strict adherence. Nagkamali ka dito. Then I will apologize. It is provided by law. By the Constitution itself. Mm -hmm. Not in mere regulation, constitution, the right of the people to be informed. Mm -hmm. Even the Senate, even the Supreme Court must bow to that injunction made by the constitution. Former President Duterte also insisted that he was ready for them to open the confidential funds of him and Vice President Sara Duterte. Huwag mo akong lukuhin, galing ako dyan. Gusto ko buksan ang libro ni uh, uh, how, uh, how Lower House 
head si Martin Romualdez. Romualdez. Ganon, simple lang, and it is provided by law, mm. by the Constitution itself. Mm -hmm. Not in mere regulation, Constitution, the right of the people to be informed. Mm. Even the Senate, even the Supreme Court must bow to that injunction made by the Constitution. Wow. <clears throat> pati ako, pati si Inday, now, open up the confidential funds namin ni Inday. For God and my beloved Philippines, this is Carlo de la Peña, SMNI News.